Hey everyone, it's CL, long time no see. I know it's been a very long while, um, but the good news is I finally moved into my new place. I know for many videos I kept saying, I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to move, I'm getting ready to move, and finally I have moved. So all the days where I have not posted any videos, I have been spending my time leading up to this move, been packing, been hiring movers, I've been trying to get rid of things, and then I had the move process. I did not have a home for two days, so we were staying in like a hotel for a couple days. And when we first moved into here, we didn't have our furniture, so we slept on the floor with just like two blankets for a day, and now our furniture is here. Um, more or less everything is moved in, and Today was kind of the first day where I could kind of relax and I didn't really have to do anything in particular um, because it is a holiday. It is 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to everyone who is, who is here in the U.S. Um, and yeah, so since it was a holiday, I didn't have to do anything pressing because most things are closed. Um, and also, I didn't have to do anything as far as like dealing with movers and, and, and all that other stuff. So I'm just sort of relieved in that sense that I'm in this new place. But one of the downsides is that even though I, even though I got rid of a lot of stuff leaving, leading up to this move, I still have many, many boxes with no place to go. So if I just spin you around really quick. Can you just see those boxes in the corner there? They have, oh, and, and these boxes over here. Those boxes have nowhere to go. Like, I, I, and honestly, I'm propping you up on another box full of clothes and I don't have any room in my closet to put these things. So my goal over the next few months of the year is to get rid of more stuff. And um, I know you're probably thinking like, CL, you knew you were gonna move. Why did you not plan ahead of time and get rid of more stuff? And the truth is, is that we did not see this place until we moved in the grand scheme of square footage that New York has to offer. Our place is pretty big in comparison to what other places offer for the price that we're paying. So absolutely we took what they were offering. Is it is it the best place ever as far as like is it luxurious? Absolutely not. If anything it has a nice roof over our head, it, it's it's fairly large for New York, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's not fancy at all, but once we got, and honestly, once I stepped foot in this place, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. My daughter, she just does not like it at all. But thankfully, once we got our stuff moved in, it feels more like home. Like, okay, this feels more like home. Um, and my daughter, she's still not sold on the place, but she has a hard time in general with like change. So, but yeah, it, now that our stuff is in here, it does, it is starting to feel more and more like home. And I'm sure with time we will adapt, um, to it, I guess you could say. Uh, so yeah, so that's my update that I am moved and I'm glad to be back, but also, one of the downsides is that since I still have so many boxes that I haven't even opened, that I haven't put away things, I can't find things. Like right now, as far as my filming setup, it's kind of a, a mess right now. Like I'm holding the tripod up because as you know, my tripod is broken. This is the third leg of my tripod. So I need to invest in another tripod now that I am moved. I am holding you up and now you're wobbling because I can't stabilize you on my own, but I'm trying my best. And then I wanted to film later tonight, but then I realized that I don't have any lighting. So I had to turn on the camera really quick and sit by the window um, because I can't find my lighting. Like I know where my umbrella light is, um, my box light. I know where that is, but I don't know where the bulb is. And it's not like this tiny little bulb that you use. It's like a huge light bulb. So <sighs> that is a mess because I was not on camera posting videos. I had like written out things of stuff I want to film for when I do get settled into my new place. So that is sort of a mess. <sighs> Sorry for the rambly video, but yeah, that is my main update. Oh, but can I tell you what we did today? Because it is 4th of July. Uh, my daughter and I decided to go to Coney Island to watch the... Uh, Nathan's hot dog eating contest that they have every year 
at Coney Island and normally I would just watch it like on ESPN but this time we decided to take the train up to Coney Island and watch it in person but it didn't kind of work out because it was very crowded and I'm very short so even though at, at in the moment I had a good view but once everyone started crowding around and of course I'm short everybody else is tall and people are like climbing planters and fences I couldn't see anything so that was kind of a miss as far as actually watching the hot dog eating contest but I do have to tell you the reason why I wanted to see it is because I have been a fan of this hot dog eating competition for a very long time. I would religiously watch it on ESPN every year. And when I was pregnant, um, before I got pregnant for like a year, I was a vegetarian. And once I got pregnant, I had like pregnancy cravings. I didn't think I had preg pregnancy cravings, but it turns out my cravings were hot dogs. Like I loved hot dogs when I was pregnant. I watched the hot dog eating competition and I was just like, oh, if I was there, I would absolutely win because I could at that time just devour endless amount of hot dogs. And that's like the worst thing you can eat, but you know, I loved it. So watching the actual competition was kind of a miss. Sorry, I'm shaking you. Um, but my daughter had a lot of fun playing the games there. She even won a Pokemon plush toy. Can I just show you? Because we never win anything. We like spend, we didn't even spend that much money on like arcade games, on the little carnival games. We didn't barely spend any money and we walked away with the Jumbo plush. So let me show it to you real quick. Okay, are you guys ready to see what my daughter won? And mind you, on the carnival games, all we spent was like 20 bucks and they were like five dollars a game, you know? Um, and my daughter won this Pokemon plush and it's the jumbo size and oh FYI his name is Squirtle if you're not a Pokemon fan or play Pokemon or whatever but see I have to hold him back here so you can see him in the video but yeah we're super excited that we won this plush it was like the second to last game that we were playing um, as far as the carnival games and my daughter loves it. Look, look, he looks like he's hugging you. Ah, I love it. There's Elle. Look at, look how big he is. I love it. And you guys are crooked, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that is essentially my update. Sorry, this it wasn't really a, an eventful video. This is just kind of, I wanted to film something because I'm starting to feel more settled in. I wanted to talk to you all. Um, but you know what? If I can edit this down, I will maybe include a few random clips that I took um, randomly because I did take many many random clips while I was not posting things in the hopes that I would be able to put something together but if that didn't turn out it was just like random 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 clips so maybe I can put them at the end of this video to share with you all and but it's gonna be so random so I hope you don't mind other than that I hope to post videos regularly again i don't have anywhere else to go and to tell you the truth i have been doing nothing but spending money during this time like uh, spending money on the movers spending money getting settled in spending money buying food it's just exhausting so i want to give my bank account a break i want to get back into things that don't cost money like filming youtube videos reading um i start back up at work tomorrow so that sort of thing other than that thank you for watching i will see you later i will see you later definitely so thanks for watching All right, so we made it to our hotel room where we're staying for a couple days, um, <laughs> two days, and this is the Bentley Hotel. I have to say the view is pretty nice and I'm sure it's even better at night. We'll film this again at night. Insert room key for power. Power of what? I honestly don't know what that does. Is it, you can turn on the light anyways. Okay, it. you guys, did anyone else have this rule growing up that when you're in a hotel room, the rule was that you could not touch anything in the refrigerator because it's too expensive. So w when we came in here, my daughter was looking around and I said, 
do not touch anything in this refrigerator it's too expensive so i'm literally my parents right now it has come around full circle um but you know they were totally justified i this refrigerator is off limits because too expensive and you know what else is expensive this tiny little fiji water five dollars you might think like well it's only five dollars that's not that bad five dollars for a tiny little water my daughter would not even be content with this come on guys okay our food has arrived we got some enchiladas we got some shrimp tacos um rice and beans some um guacamole with tortillas and these are our chips and yeah and then we got a drink over here and i suppose a lemonade over here and another rice and beans so yep the kid and i are gonna chow down and eat as much as we can this elevator skips the 13th floor This is our breakfast right now. We got from 7-Eleven, just some simple fruit, and the little one is drinking uh, coconut water. So yeah, so actually we're getting ready to eat breakfast, and then we actually have to head back to our old place because I forgot my daughter's pet snails. So we have to go back. The office is supposedly holding those uh, that bag for us with the snails in it, so we are going to do that after we eat breakfast and get ready for that. 